Hello, welcome to another edition of Faith Boost with Olivia. On this platform, the purpose is to ignite your hope and by the time you finish listening, that your faith as the title of the podcast is to boost your faith. You know how we have like energy boost and this, the purpose for me on this platform is that as you listen, um, your faith will be boosted. Your faith in God, your faith in Christ. This is all things faith. You know, faith is not um, particularly to Christian, right? Faith is in every human being that God created. We have faith in many things. We have faith in our capacities. We have faith in our skills, right? Let's someone that is a doctor have faith that in their skill, in what the academics, their special training has. Even among the doctors, there are different types of specialties. Use like <laughs> the Holy Spirit is, is interesting sometimes how he launches us into, you know, what he wants us to do by the will of God. So faith, the Bible said, we're zooming in on faith, right? Faith is evidence of things hoped for, not yet seen. So if you, you, if you have something, there is no need for you to believe for it faith is believing for something right that has not yet you have not yet grabbed substance evidence of things hope for when you have something you don't need to hope for it however um our in this what we're zooming in on what i'm going to share with you today under the faith boost is about relationship mm -hmm. did i get your attention you know <laughs> Many times they say relationship, people get it, but it's not the dimension that you're going to, you might think. Every human being has a relationship. Every human being born of a woman have relationship. And it starts while we're still in the womb, right? Every one of us was born of a woman. We're carried by a woman. Only women have womb to carry children. And that's the privilege God gave us. That's the privilege God gave us as, 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 as female, you know, created in God's image according to the scripture in Genesis chapter 1. The Bible said God created the male and female. He created them. So I, am, I celebrate my womanhood. I celebrate my female. And, and, and it can improve on what God has done. And talk about everyone born of a woman. I want to give a shout out, shout out to my son Joshua who is 18 years old today. And I want to thank the Lord for his life. Today, 18 years ago, I, by the help of the Lord, brought forth a male child. He's my second child and he's my first son. So I thank you, Father, for this child and I commit him and I commit as many else or others who are celebrating their birthdays today. I pray Matthew chapter 6, verse 9 and 10, that God who brought you on earth, that his will, that your name, your that his name, your life will hallow his name. And through you, his kingdom be established and his will be done in your life. And that you will serve your generation by his will. By his will. By his will. Happy birthday, Joshua. Happy birthday, son. Happy birthday, everyone else who is watching at your birthdays today. So now to the, 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 the issue of the day, the topic of the day, we are going into, hopefully it will be a series. We are going into relationship. And it, like I said, I started with everybody has a relationship. You have a relationship with the mother, the woman that gave birth to you. Even if you were adopted, even if you, you know, you don't know your mother, you don't know your father, some, a woman carried you for 40 weeks. Anywhere, some, some children... The normal time is 40 weeks. So that relationship started in the womb when your mother conceived you. Going back to the scripture in Jeremiah chapter 1, and God came to visit Jeremiah and told him, before I formed you in your mother's womb, I knew you. I knew you. 
I was the one that needed you in your mother's womb. So every one of us came from God. Every human being, regardless of your background, regardless of what you believe, whether you even believe it or not, every human being came from God. Now, what we do, whether we believe that or not, we're coming into faith zone. Whether we believe that there is a God or not, and not just a God, but the God, the God of the Bible, the God that created the heavens and the earth according to the book of Genesis. Now, that's, that's faith. Many people take the Bible as history book, as whatever, but the book is the word of God, is the, is the, is, is, is the manual for life. The author of life came and brought that book to us. He is the one that manufactured us. He's the one that created us. And he said, here, and he, he made that possible by his spirit speaking to different individuals. You know, some, many people will say, oh, the Bible but it's written by human being. If you, the Bible talks about itself, that is by the inspiration, all scripture is breathed by God. You tell me when you read the book of Isaiah and the book of Matthew, how come nobody could have made that up? Nobody can made up, made that up. Anyway, now zooming into relationship, it starts as human beings, right? It starts, let me track that back. I say physically, right? It, track, it starts with your mother. But actually the first relationship we have is with God. God is the author of our lives. He's the one that created us and sent us forth on earth on an errand. We have an assignment. Every one of us have an assignment. Every single human being. Whether we find out what that assignment is. Assignment, I'm not talking about skill. I'm not talking about, I'm talking about what he said in the book of Jeremiah chapter 1. If you read Jeremiah chapter, he said, I formed you in your mother's womb. And the purpose I sent to Jeremiah is that you will be a prophet to the nations. Jeremiah said, I'm just a child. I'm just a little child, a little boy. God said, yeah, in the physical, but in the spirit, your spirit is sent to be a prophet to the nations. So each of us has an assignment that we're sent to. Now, that's the first relationship. Our first relationship is with God, the God of the Bible. That's our, our first relationship. Now, in that relationship now, he sent us into families, right? Into through our parents, our mother and father. Now we have our primary relationship is with our parents. And in, even if you adopt the right, into the adopted parents, right? Into if you're the first child and then you start to get siblings. And some people just have just them. They don't have, you know, siblings, just them. But you have cousins and stuff like that. Everybody has a level of human relationship. And then you relationship begin to expand. You know, you're getting into um, going to school, getting friends at school, teachers. And, you know, as you know, the scripture say from your Jerusalem to your Judea, to your Samaria, to your uttermost part. So why I say all that, that's what I say you, you know, say here about relationship. People always think, oh, relationship, you know, in terms of love, quote unquote. But every relationship that we have streaming from our relationship with God to our relationship with our parents and siblings and extended family and our world, it all is sitting on love, some level of love. There are different kinds of love, right? The Bible talk about it. So these relationships also are governed by principles. And from our relationship with God to our relationship with our parents and siblings, and like I would say, the souls, from, from people in our Jerusalem, in our Judea, in our Samaria, in our utmost world. It's all governed by boundaries, by principles. And we are not to violate those um, boundaries. But as human beings, sometimes we do. Intentionally, unintentionally. We violate these principles and we cross the line. Like we say, we cross the boundary. So when we cross the boundary... When we cross the boundary, right? <laughs> when we cross the boundary, um, I have the, I have the, my, I have my 
my phone so I can go to the scripture. I want to go to the scripture. I can read the Bible for you, right? So when we cross the boundary, that's what we, when I say to you, um, when we cross the boundary, that's when um, what I, the main, the main, why now we're easing we're easing When you, in all of this relationship, beginning with God, go back to the Garden of Eden in the book of Genesis chapter 1. Adam and Eve crossed the boundary. So we are starting from the very beginning with this relationship thing. I know, right? What is that type of relationship? It's like, like maybe dating and stuff like that. Relationship is more than that. That is like the periphery, but the origin is in the book of Genesis, right? When man created God, man was created by God in his image after his likeness. And God said, I'm going to have, God called the shots. God set the parameters, the boundaries, which he will relate with humanity. And as I'm going to bring my Bible, this is Genesis, the book of Genesis. This is uh, the Passion Translation. In the book of Genesis, we saw the first relationship establishment that God had with man. Um, in there, the, I'm going to read from verse 27. The Bible says, so God created man and woman and shaped them with his image inside them, inside them, inside them. It's not about physical appearance, inside them, but inside. That's why we resemble God. Say, so in his own beautiful image. Yeah, think about that. You, you. You are made in God's beautiful image. It reminds me of Psalm 139, verse 14. Say, you are fearfully and wonderfully made. Yes, you are fearfully and wonderfully. Now, let's keep reading. It says, in his own beautiful image, he created his masterpiece. Again, yes, you are a masterpiece. You're a masterpiece. I don't know what people have told you, even though we're not into that. But as the spirit leads, right, we're talking about relationship. And our relationship starts with God. It starts with God. And he's the one who made you in his image after his likeness. They, I love this version. It's a passion. It says, in his own beautiful image, he created his masterpiece. Yes, you're a masterpiece. You are a masterpiece. You are. You, I don't know what people have told you and you what you think of yourself, but I'm telling you today, you're a master. I told you, this is Faith Boost Podcast. It is it's here to ignite your hope and faith and boost your faith. Yes, yes, you are made in his image. Yes, male and female, he created them. Yes, God made us male and female. There is no, no in between. I, he created you for the purpose. Remember I said in Jeremiah, I, I, I have stated Jeremiah chapter 1 earlier, the purpose God gave you, the body, the skin color you are in, right? It's human that tell us we have skin colors, right? They, they, whether you are male or female, all of those intricacies, you know, where you're born, or everything is streamed back to what God sent you on earth to do. Everything streams back to your relationship with God, the God of Israel, the God of the Bible, the God that gave us his son, Jesus Christ. Everything that's about you, your height, you know, when I was little, <laughs> some of my cousins thought I was going to be a very tall excuse me, a very tall girl because I used to run, you know, I ran so fast. So for some reason, but I am perfectly perfect with my height, with everything about me. I love because God doesn't make mistakes. So if you are made this, you are spirit that is made in, you know, our body house, our spirit and our soul. So if God put you in a male body, it is for his glory, first of all. It is for his glory and it is for your good. You don't need to do anything. You don't need to alter that. It's is is when you do that you are you are telling God um, um you know you you don't know what you're doing. I know better than you. It's like, you know, cars. There's a lot of things that, that are being manufactured by human beings. It's like you driving and your car is telling you what to do, how to handle the car and all that. But you follow the manufacturer's guide. A manufacturer 
a, a retailer of a car cannot tell you more about the car than the manufacturer. No, if people are hoodwinking other people, people are manipulating other people, people are bringing their ideas that are demonic to let people know you're not good enough. The devil talks to everybody. The devil talks to everybody. He can come to you, tell you how you're not good enough. You're not supposed to listen to the devil. So the first important thing is having understanding of your relationship with God. Your relationship with God. Because that is the base. That is the, the bedrock of your life. If you have a good grip, and the good grip is this scripture I'm reading to you. This is who you are. This is where you find your identity. This is the first order of relationship as a human being is that so God created man and woman and shaped them with his image inside of them. That's you. That's me. In his own beautiful image, he created his masterpiece. Yes, male and female, he created them. There's nothing to add. There's nothing to subtract. And God blessed them in his love, saying, reproduce and be fruitful. Populate the earth and subdue it. Reign over the fish of the sea and the boss of the air and every creature that lives on earth. And God said, I give you every seed bearing plant growing throughout the earth, vegetables and every food bearing tree with its seed within itself. There will be your food. There will also be food for every animal. I'm going to jump to 31 and say, God surveyed all he had made and said, I love it. I love it. God loves you. God said, I love it. What he, everything, he surveyed it for it pleased him greatly. It pleased God greatly. Even gave way. So he pleased him greatly. The, the, it says evening gave way to morning, the sixth day. So when God created the earth, he created it perfectly. When he created you as a human being. So your relationship as a human being starts with God. I told you it's not your ordinary, oh, I'm talking about relationship. It's going to be a series, obviously. Though your relationship streams, the head fountain, the beginning of it is God. It's you and God. You and God. The God that created you in his image, after his likeness, in his beautiful image, created you as a masterpiece. That's, that is the number one relationship. If you didn't know, I pray that the Holy Spirit of God will help you. Go and read that Genesis. That is your, your beginning on earth. God sent you forth through your mother. When I started, I said, your relationship starts with your mother, right? I backtrack that, that going in this scripture, in Genesis chapter 1, from verse 27 to the end, 31. And then Jeremiah chapter 1, you read Jeremiah chapter 1. You know, God visited a young boy and told him, it's me that formed you and sent you forth. You are sent forth, beloved. You are sent forth on earth for God's purpose, for as a beautiful, pleasing masterpiece of God. You don't need to alter anything. 